Hello and what's good? Good morning. I have some Palo Santo here that I got. You know, I was traveling in the Southwest, so hopefully it's nice and dry. And when I light it, it'll actually light because if you've ever had Palo Santo before, you know, sometimes it just does not. Hmm, it smells so good. So that's what we're doing. Clear the, clear the energy out a little bit here. So let's see, take two matches. I know some people use lighters to light their Palo Santo. Um, we'll see what happens here. Looks like it's burning a little bit. It's good. I can smell it. Don't let your flame get too high. There we go. Oh, we're smoking it out now, aren't we? Ooh, I better open up a window for a little smoke alarm. Excuse me, I'm in my half pajama, half um, shorts, like ready to go somewhere outfit. So, yeah, exactly. If you near my dog out there growling, so. I hope everyone's having a good day, a good start to their week. It's officially Tuesday, y'all. If you didn't know, but we are in the month of October. So let fall happen, okay? So if you've been holding up something, let it fall. Boop. Like I was trying to hold up a hairstyle. I didn't even think about holding up a hairstyle this morning because it was just like, it's everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? I woke up, this hair was like... All the way up. I'm like, okay, that's why we're putting the hat on today. You know, styling, yeah. styling tips with Stephanie here. Okay, now we're ready to go. Okay, this is how we do it. So we do up in the Midwest. All right, we're not presumptuous around here, and I'm not that kind of reader. So if that's what you're looking for, and you're already tired of this rambling, I know we're two minutes in, and I haven't pulled a single damn card, have I? But. My pillow sand is still burning. That's some good stuff. Some good stuff. I think I'm pleased with my my small purchase. Um, I think this bundle cost me like five dollars or something, and it went to you know a little local shop. So uh, hopefully they appreciated uh, that. I would imagine that they did. Now let's get into this message. What the heck's going on? I've been getting all sorts. I woke up from this dream, like was straight up out of the dream, you know? And I was like, okay. Or there's a much younger person in the dream, like adult, but still younger than me. And I was like, what's going on here? And then I've just been getting songs coming through all morning. So we're going to see what's going on with these energies. I really feel like they're kind of swirling around. I do want to light this past just one more time, really. I mean, I've done a lot of readings with my cards and stuff, and I don't really cleanse them like I should, um, you know, because you don't want, you don't want that stagnancy, okay? So whatever for you it takes, you do it. Okay. If that means going for a walk in the morning. Okay. You take yourself a little spiritual bath, spiritual shower. You do it. Okay. Um, you go out and garden, you do it. Okay. Whatever's going to get you in touch with earth and mother nature and stuff like that. Okay. That's the important part of this stuff. Okay. So that you can appreciate what the earth is giving us. All right. So if you're confused as to why readers are into crystals and Hello, Santo and Sage and things like that. It's, it's, think about it from a holistic view, okay? So, what do we have for this collective now, please? Thank you, Spirit. I think I'm finally on, my brain is finally on track to do this reading. We're only almost, welcome to the, yeah. But they say, welcome to the nightmare. Welcome to the rodeo. Can we do it that way? Rodeos are supposed to be fun. It's like tarot can be fun. Yes. Like I said in one of my other videos, it does not always have to be all like dark and scary and ominous and 
some of these things, you know, some of that has to do with your state of mind. So if you're not having the best state of mind, you know, don't seek professional help, you know, a counselor or, you know, somebody in your church or at your school or whatever the case. Okay. You know, and when I say that, like somebody who's, you know, qualified to do those things, there are people in those jobs. Yes, that's their job. You may not like them at first. It's okay. This one, it's about liking yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here to do. We have to love ourselves. And then, yeah. and then once that occurs, we'll be able to turn that love to the people that uh, not only need it from us, <clears throat> but the people that can return it to us as well. Excuse me one moment. And I'm back. You know how those dogs be. She had herself all twisted up around this bush. So how that happened in the very short, short time that she was out there. We're probably going after some small animal. And she is an animal after all. Anyway. Nature, right? Be yourself. Be yourself. Who else you got me? Who else are you going to be? All right, this is Palo Santo, Will Ash, and I just asked on my computer, so be careful of that, okay? <clears throat> and you're playing with fire. Don't play with fire because you might get burned. You hear that one? Play with fire because you might get burned. Rolling stones. Bum, 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 bum. Crossing the Sun Collective. The Six of Wands. I feel like for some of you, you've thought about moving. Um, I know that's more like with the three of wands, but the six of wands is about going where you're celebrated. And if you're not able to be your self collective, then you have to go somewhere that you're feeling the urge. I feel like you're going, you're feeling the urge to go somewhere that you are celebrated. And that is crossing you because you're not sure if you want to make that move or not. And you might be like, well, where is that at? You know, oops, whole deck upside down. <laughs> upside down, you're turning me. Bum, 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 bum. So what's in the foundation for this collective now, please? <clears throat> what's the good news about this situation? Six of Cups. Either you want to reunite with somebody or somebody wants to reunite with you. This could be a family member as well. It doesn't have to be a, uh, sorry, I'm giving myself more room here since I'm doing a Celtic cross today. Um, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It could be um, somebody in your family that wants to reunite with you. That being said, take what resonates. If you have that kind of situation going on right now, maybe that is exactly what you are experiencing, okay? Here we go. Get my hat. Get my hat on straight. You know, I'm not like those baseball players that have them off to the side. In the recent history for this collective, please now. Tell me more. Tell me more. Was it Love at First Sight Collective, this person that wants to reunite with you? Got the temperance angel, divine timing. You were meant to meet this person. They always say that we're meant to meet people in our lives, you know, and sometimes we don't know those reasons until later, right? Um, but again, if this is somebody that made you feel celebrated, it should be no surprise that you are looking to want to reunite with them in some way. Okay. I mean, that's kind of human nature. You go around the people that 
you gravitate towards and that show you love and appreciation of, right? Mm -hmm. In a healthy way. Okay. So if you're not in a healthy way yet, get your Palo Santo, you know, and meditate that on out of here, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the neighbors love that my dog's outside barking at 8 a.m. There's that devil wanting to come out in the crown now. Feel like. So anyway, that old dog in, that old devil card popped up and in the crown. So what I feel like collective, even though. This is not appearing in your recent history. It is in the Celta Cross and it's appearing on your crown. So I feel like it is on your mind a lot. The fact that people wanting you to be in, bel in relationships, relationships have perhaps beleaguered your progress in life, right? And it's like, you know what? When I was with that person, I didn't do so well. When I was with this person, I didn't do so well. So why do I want to get into something that ties me up and binds me? Mm-hmm. But if you dig deep into the Capricorn energy of what a Capricorn actually is, that's all about commitment. Okay. You just have to realize if it's the right kind of commitment for you. Okay. So give yourself a little bit of patience around the situation, please. And don't be so quick to judge it because that's what the double card wants you to do. Wants you to make quick decision. Wants you to make, you know. And like, if somebody's putting you in like a, an ultimatum type thing, probably not for you. And it wouldn't be for me anyway. I don't really care for ultimatums and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But, um, you know, you have to stick to your boundaries. There's a difference between an ultimatum and a boundary. You know, a boundary could be like, um, I don't smoke cigarettes and I don't want to date somebody that smokes cigarettes. You know, you could be flexible on that boundary. It could be a hard and fast boundary. Yeah. You might be following the rule of law here with a justice card in your leg. Look, these are the rules. If you don't like it, not my problem. Libra here as well. This justice has been wanting to pop out lately as well. I've been getting that coming through on another card on the judgment card. So I feel like the thing is collective that you perhaps, whoever you're dealing with <clears throat> has maybe gone through judgment and now they're looking forward to, you know, say the karmic justice is going to play out in this situation and it could involve you. Okay. Um, you know, I'd always, it takes two to tango, right? So what else do we have? How's the collective feeling about this situation now? Since you showed up as the sun card right up front, like, booyah! Got any Leos in the house? Leos in the house. Higher font. Uh, it looks like the collective is feeling hopefully about hopeful about this situation. Um, you could have learned some lessons. But again, somebody that wants to reunite with you and reunite with you perhaps formally, I feel like the collective has really high hopes for this type of scenario. And it could lead to, you know, a marriage there for those people. Now, if you're somebody who's like, oh, I'm not into marriage, I'm not into this or that. Well, like I kind of said earlier, the type of commitment that works for you, okay? <clears throat> the commitment that the devil is bringing to you right now is not a commitment that anyone can hold for very long. So if you've been committed to the wrong things, you're finding out right now they ain't the right things. And maybe that's the lesson that's been learned for some people in the collective. I mean, 
sometimes it happens that way or else it's the people that you're dealing with and you see it's like, yeah, maybe they learned their lesson finally. Maybe they learned a lesson about you collective. Maybe they learned that you're not going to stick around for this. You're like, I done it, you know. I, I fixed that mess that was on top of my crown with this hat. Okay? I'll slice these, I'll take these horns off myself if I have to. And I'll do it with a smile on my face. Because that's the kind of person I am. It's almost like cutting the crust off bread for a child, isn't it? Now, let's continue. On to the environment. That's right. Keeping peace in the valley today. Mm. Wounded warrior. Of course, in the environment. Everybody's the walking wounded, especially when it comes to what you've had to deal with. So, yeah. <clears throat> collective, there may be people in your environment that want to trauma bond with you right now. And I only say that because you need to protect your energy when it comes to that, because some of them may want healing. But some of you may already be past that stage of healing now. Whether or not you want to help those people is up to you. Because just as they have issues, so do you still. Right? <clears throat> so you could still be trying to heal yourself. And it's like, you know what? I just don't have the energy to help anybody else right now. And what else can you say to that? Moving on into the hopes and fears, please. Can't please everyone, so you yeah, got to please yourself. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands, hopes and fears. Yeah, I feel like collective, you're um, a little concerned of whether or not whoever these people are in your energy, if they're actually there to help you or if they're just to be like, oh, yeah. Um, that's really hard, isn't it? Like, that's all you gotta say? Like, everybody knows that. Yeah. Like, gawkers? Like, have you ever gone down to the river to see when it's flooding? Oh, look at that! You know? Probably somebody down there that had a sandbag, you know. Did I have did I do the sandbagging? No, but I went down there to gawk at him. They're like, oh yeah, that must be terrible down there. Oh boy. Right? I feel like that's kind of what's coming across here. In this ten of wands right now, people are like, oh man, you've just been through so much. Yeah. I don't know what they're expecting out of you, the collective. I don't know if they think now you're going to break down and start crying or something, but it's like, you must not know about, you must not know about me. When warrior type, and it's like, it's not even that irreplaceable song. This is more like Beyonce, uh, this is more like Destiny's Child. I'm a survivor, da, 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 da. you know? I mean, it's like, mm-mm. Never going back again. That is a choice you can make. And sometimes you make that physical choice and the mental part of it here does not always follow. And that's why he has this little bandage over his head. Because it's like he's he's able to physically fight another day, but like mentally, it's like not 100%. So I feel like collective for some of you, you know, this is a continuation. Um, you may need a little bit of help, like I said, like reaching out to a counselor or something. And maybe that's just what you need to get over this hump. Um, so that it doesn't feel so heavy because I get it. I know, like, especially when you're suffering from depression and things like that, like you can physically feel like 
Or like if you forgot to do something in the morning, then you're going to carry that around with you all day long. And it's like some little stick that you just want to beat yourself up with all day long, right? Well, on the Manifest Wise the Terror channel right now, ain't nobody got time for that. That's what the message is, okay? What's in the outcome now? <clears throat> I feel like collective, you really are destined to help other people with their healing. Um, but you're also here have kind of this, you know, somebody wanting to reunite with you, somebody, somebody wanting to give you love, somebody wanting to offer you something that is beautiful, right? Page of cups and the outcome. A lot of people don't like the page of cups, but it can also symbolize the beginnings of a family. Um, this person could already have kids. Um, they could want some kind of combined family with you. Um, so think about that as well. Collective, you know, um, I know a lot of times we say, you know, we have to do what's best for ourselves and not for everybody else. But if you are in a relationship, Okay. Or if you're choosing to be in a relationship, then yes, those are some of the things that you might start to consider, right? Okay. So <clears throat> with the page of cups here, this could be an expansion to the existing family. Okay. Or the start of one with somebody that wants to be with you and they just see how awesome you are. Okay. And I feel like for some reason that this person is going to search for you. They might not be searching very hard, but they're searching. And I almost feel like for some of you, they're searching for something that's just not going to be found in another person. Okay. So if you're relating to this message, please subscribe. Um, I am going to pull some clarification and see what I can get. Hopefully, uh, as I'm recording here, it will keep going. I'm sorry. I have some issues with storage right now on these videos. So if it cuts off early, I'm really, really sorry. Okay. Let's get some more information about the person or persons in your energy. I feel like you can clarification today, collective. I'm feeling it as well right here. Clarify now the sun, please, for this collective. Remember as well that in ancient Egyptian times, Ra was the sun god, the sun, okay? <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. She looks how for the moon. Is that you, collective? You're like, you know what? I've been working. I don't want anybody to even bother me with a relationship. I'm just trying to get these pentacles to grow, right? Like, don't bother me. Knight of Wands. Um, somebody wants to definitely bother you. And in, like in a Knight of Wands style, like they want to be flirty. They want to send text messages. They want to, you know, do all those things. <clears throat> and you're like, mm -hmm. I feel like you're kind of, you're kind of giving it a go a little bit. Two of Swords. So whoever this is that wants to reunite with you, I don't feel like you know a thing about it. I think they have you completely in the dark on the situation and that's how they like it. And in the meantime, collective, you're doing this over here, watching your pentacles grow. You know, it's not always the best outcome, but it's something and you're like, and it's mine. So... Light up your Palo Santo on that if you have a problem with it. I don't. You ever hear that? No is a complete sentence. No. No explanation needed. You don't have to give one. Sure don't. You know, I think we get so used to explaining things like to people in authority, teachers, parents. 
even friends that might like have some authority in a situation. And then the older you get, you realize like, I don't have to explain nothing to nobody, you know? <clears throat> King of swords. Yeah. Cold as ice. They'll ice you out faster than anybody. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So I feel like collective, if you are not in communication right now with somebody, it could be potentially a king of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And that could be why, just because they're feeling the ice, the ice in their veins right now, because they don't want to wait. Yeah, they're impatient as above, so below here with the chariot impatient they want you to make a decision and they want the decision to be the same decision that they would make but how do you know what that decision is if they haven't told you anything <laughs> how can people make decisions logically using logic that's what the swords are about using logic intellect Again, you must not know about me. It's kind of like when uh, I talked to an advisor one time, like a financial advisor. They were like, yeah, just send that money over. They didn't call me. They didn't try and set up a meet. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I think I'm good on that. You don't give me any indications, any hints, any nothing. Why should I trust you? So collective, I feel like here with this justice card that is coming now. And if you don't have trust built with whoever. <clears throat> yeah, they're trying to manifest you into your into their life. Um, I don't know how successful they're being, because, again, if there is no trust, um, you know, and especially here with the devil, you know, in the crown, it's like getting tied up in these commitments that just go on forever. But is it the commitment that you really wanted? Now, if you're manifesting for yourself, you're like, yes, this is exactly what I want, right? But there's always somebody else involved. So you have to see if that lines up together. And that, I think, is why the Justice card is here. And it's kind of like, well, if you want to talk about what you bring to the table and what I bring to the table, then maybe we can do that. And it's like, well, I have this and you have that. And I have this and you have that. And you, you know, if that's, I don't know, something you want to do in a relationship. I don't know. It, it, it all depends on the type of relationship that you want. I'm not, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to read the cards, read the energy. Okay. Five of cups. Yeah. This person is afraid of commitment. I feel like you are too, just because of things that have happened in the past. So if this person comes to you with an offer, you're going to be like, well, what happened last time? How did that turn out? You promised me, you know, I never promised you a rose garden. Right. But what can I can give you is this right back here. But is that what they're actually offering? Or did they offer you this collective? And if you're playing by the rules, you know that ain't gonna fly. Not with the higher font on board. Absolutely not. Who does this fool think they are? What a fool believes. Really getting that strong, you guys, that it's like somebody wanted you to be the fool here. And you're like, you know what? You can magic your ass on out of here with that. <clears throat> Clarifying the nine of wands now. You know, collective, not every offer is a good offer, is it?
Wow. Now I could just about cry because you know what this two of cups is? It's this stuff right here. So you're like, hey, I got this. So on top of the wounded warrior here, the nine of wands, I feel like that somebody is mirroring you. Somebody is seeing you in your environment and somebody's saying, you know what? I'm kind of like you and look at my cup and I want to talk to you about it and see what you think. And maybe we can, you know, drink our cups together, right? And then we can also refill them together. And like these two characters, we can take them to the beach and have our photo taken in front of the lighthouse. <laughs> and as long as you hold this with some reverence, I feel like this uh, two of cups relationship is going to be protected. That's the message I'm getting. So clarifying the Ten of Wands now and the hopes and fears, please. There's that travel card, the Three of Wands. So are you going to have to go to them or are they going to have to come to you, right? Is that what's going on here? It's like, well, I don't know. Am I going to have to go there? How am I going to find them? What if you're like, you know what? I, I don't know even who you're talking about right now with this two of cups because I don't have anybody. And exactly. Remember what I said back here? I don't know that this is necessarily they want you to be a fool in the way of being stupid, but they definitely are not letting you in right now even though they want to reunite with you. Ooh, we, ooh, I look just like Buddy Holly. Oh, oh, when you're Mary Tyler Moore. I don't care what they say about us anyway. I don't care about that. A Weezer. Clarify this page of cups, please, now for the collective. Yeah, I feel like presently this person, like, like literally this moment, they could be like, you know, and it's and it's, it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're at a separation from them. Like they could be at work. They could be like in another state. They could be in another town. It's something like that. Okay. Seven of cups. And I feel like collective, you don't know what you're going to do about this. I feel like this is more your confusion than theirs. Because you're like, you know what? Last time I checked, this is what I got out of that situation. You ever hear that? They ever play 52 card pickup? There you go. Here's your mess. That's the everything is fine. That's what this is. I feel like this person has a lot of making up to do a collective if that's indeed what's going on here. So I don't know. You know somebody wants to let me know. A little meditation card, please. Protection. What did I say about protection earlier? I feel like whoever this person is that if you are getting together with, it's going to be divinely protected. Okay. So whatever worries that you have about things not turning out, about other people showing up, like just don't. Don't let that dominate your thoughts. It's a mental game at this point. Okay. 
And the sooner you realize that things are, I hate to say, you know, life is a game because there's a lot of people going through serious things right now and they don't feel like it's a game at all. Right. You know, especially when things come across as life or death. Okay. Contemplation. So you could be thinking about those kinds of things right now, collective and in a meditative state, that's best. Right. Remember to try and think about some of the joy that you have. Okay. That's important as well. So when you say contemplation, it's like, oh, it's contemplating on all the heavy stuff, right? <clears throat> but we can contemplate on fun stuff as well. And maybe the possibility that somebody actually wants to, you know, succeed with you. Initiation. So if you've been receiving downloads, don't be worried. If you've been receiving messages, if you've been like, have this nagging kind of thing that says you need to go and do this. Maybe it's because it's time to go and do that. That's your spirit guides. That's above. That's your ancestors. That's, you know, however you want, however you want to interpret that. I'm not going to tell you how to interpret these messages. Okay. So I'm not going to get involved in that religious battle. I was raised Catholic. I will tell you that right now. And I've probably had a lot more church than a lot of you out there watching me right now or any of you that have ever talked about me behind my back. Yeah, I just said that. That's right. I was raised Catholic. So read it and weep, folks. Yeah, I know that Bible too. Whoever these evildoers are, collective, you got to get away from them. They're just sick people. They're very, very sick people. They're not healthy for you or your energy or your goals and dreams. So if those are the people that you're around, I'm very sorry. Because I know what it's like. Smile in your face. All the while, take your place, backstabbers, backstabbers. Yeah, I'm talking about you. See, we like to have fun here on Tarot. It don't have to be so serious all the time, even though we're talking about some backstabbers. Exactly. Because those people should not seriously figure in your life. When you realize that, things are going to be so much easier for you. I thought they were my friend. Oh, I know. Adjustments are required. Maybe you need new friends. You ever hear of that? <clears throat> what else? The so my beautiful collective. It says it's 60 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. It's a good time for me to go out there and do some yard work. Awesome. <laughs> right? Confidence is your key to success. I worked out, you guys, last night on our DVD. Me and uh, one of my girlfriends were being accountability partners. But, you know, when you have to wear a swimsuit in the wintertime, it's have to be done. Um, so working on your confidence. Maybe that's, you know, boosting your energy by working out. Doing something you enjoy. What are you confident about? Maybe you look good. I'm wrong with that. Be confident. Maybe you're attracting in, you know? I heard for a change. So for somebody, <laughs> and about, about damn time, okay? Nobody wants to go out with a mopey Nelly. I mean, I get it. We all have issues and stuff, but nobody wants to be with that person all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let pride get in your way. Here's Leo again. So collective, I feel like whoever this person is or you keep the channel of communication open. I'm not saying to reach out necessarily. I'm just saying to keep the channel of communication open. Do not close it off completely. 
because if you do, you may regret the situation even more than some of the things that you've already experienced. And I think as long as you have this protection around you, you're going to be really successful. And it might be to the extent that it shocks other people. And that's not going to be your problem to deal with. That is their problem to deal with. There's plenty of YouTube videos they can watch and talk about their own confidence and why they feel the need to come after you versus going after things for themselves. Some people don't understand how the pieces of the pie actually works. Because if you use your imagination, there's always a bigger pie and everybody gets a bite. But some people only want the pie for them and their little buddies and their little friends and they don't care about anybody else. And sometimes collective, that could be you on the outside. So if you're resonating with this message right now, I really, really, really feel sorry that you feel any kind of thing like that. And it is time to take that, move it off to the side. Because that's what they want you to focus on, but that's not what your focus is. Okay, Your focus here is reuniting with somebody. I don't know who. The outcome, to be honest, kind of looks a little sketchy. With the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. But I think we all know that with a little bit of effort, a lot of things can happen a lot of times, okay? So with that, and I'm getting my Vicki Sue Robinson turn the beat around closeout music here. So um, I would really hope that for the rest of you that you have a good, good, good day. What do you... What am I doing? What do you need to release the waning moon? So that's what happened during this full moon. So if you didn't get to release it, you need to release it now. If you're like, I don't know how to release it, say, I release it. I release what's bothering me. How about that? You know, you can make up these little mantras for yourself and they'll work. Because it's your it's your mental game. I I really think collective, especially since this two of swords came out, it is it is such a mental game for you right now. And um anybody that's gonna get in the way of that, I think that you're gonna end up showing them that you don't care that they have tried to get into your way, that they wanna be in your way. Even if they wanna congratulate you on the way, you might not care. But that being said, don't be rude, right? <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. All right, please subscribe, like, drop a comment if this resonated with you. And if it wasn't your message today, it wasn't your message. I understand this is kind of heavy, um, even though it kind of started out light and fun. Um, so maybe I need to re-cleanse with, you know, make sure you get your Palo Santo out there and your white candles and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, create a little ritual for yourself. Okay. Um, so you're like, I don't feel protected. Light yourself a little candle and say, please protect me today, universe. Okay. Until next time, please manifest wisely. Bye-bye.